Bianca, any chance you could help me talk your mother into going back to the hospital? I know better than to get in her way when she's like this. <laughs> but you have to promise me you'll take it easy. I will. And that uh, you'll go right back to the hospital when this is over. Okay, fine. But, Jack, right now I need your help. Sure, name it. Okay. I want you to get me everything you can on David and Greenlee. You told me that the police questioned them about my so-called embezzlement and about my disappearance. Yes, yes. So you want to send me on a mission and leave you all alone? Oh, she's got me. I'm pretty fired up. There you see. And, Jack, you can't protect me forever. You can't stand guard over me. I'll be fine. You see what she does. You see, I was so worried I would never see these beautiful eyes again. How could I possibly say no to them? You see how she... Yes, I will go to the police station. I will get a copy of the transcript and... Whatever else they have. Okay. Thank you. You're Thank welcome. You. This is a disaster waiting to happen. Erica's going to throw you under the bus the first chance she gets. Because that's what we would do. Erica's going to use you to save Fusion, and then she's going to destroy you in the process. I won't let that happen. I know exactly what Erica's capable of, but if she's willing to help me after what we... Okay, you see, when you start talking like that, I'm even more convinced it's a mistake to trust her. Until we get the SEC to back off, I don't have a choice. I'll go talk to them. No, right? no, you're going. I'm not leaving you alone with Eric and Bianca. You will only make this harder because you're not on board. And for good reason. Look, I need to do it alone, David. Full attention on the fusion, Erica, the SEC fixing this. You'll only be in the way. I'll call you later. So? Let's do this. I'm in. Well, since you've taken it upon yourself to shut down my company, our company, we have every right to see every single paper used in this investigation. There's a clear trail showing money designated for the Miranda Center was diverted to another account. That's impossible. I'm sure there was an accounting error. Unless that's proven, Fusion will remain closed for business. Well, if you'll just give me the exact figure, I'll just write a check to the Miranda Center. Error corrected, Fusion open for business. <sighs> Writing a check doesn't change the fact that a crime has been committed. Well, you're looking straight at me. I guess you've decided already that I'm guilty. But I would never take money from the Miranda Center. The charity is named after my daughter. My mother's made huge donations. Not so long ago, Ms. Kane was convicted of insider trading. And I pled guilty to those charges. And I fired my advisors who got me into that mess. I mean, this seems like a witch hunt. Well, I'm certainly not going to let you victimize me or, or our company. Yeah, you know, my, my partner is right. To take an accounting error and blow it out of proportion and turn it into a crime when no crime has been committed, it's just wrong. So you're telling me on the record that you believe Erica Kane is innocent? Yes, I am. You definitely need to look somewhere else because my mother is innocent. Oh, the answer's here. All we have to do is find it. Your short-sighted scheme. You have put this company in jeopardy. Hey, hey, what happened to working together? Working together? You two are working together now? They're trying. What are you doing here? I fired you. Could we please stick to the subject at hand? I am. Fusion is out of business until Agent Bennett arrests somebody. Well, that stupid uh, chick move that you made. Surely he saw that as a cover. Be sure to let me handle it. He wants to arrest you. Isn't that what you want? I just want you gone. Okay, okay, everybody. This isn't going to solve any problem, all right? Well, hey, you just need someone to blame, right? What about me? I could take the fall. I mean, Erica has done so much for me. With the Miranda Center and giving me a job when I had zero qualifications. Well, that doesn't mean that you take the heat for something that you didn't do. Yeah, but like Greenlee said, I've already been fired. All you have to do is tell the SEC that I was in charge of the books, I made a clerical error, and you fired me. This is great. It's perfect. It's so good, I might even rehire you. Oh, okay. Everybody, there's no way in hell that this is going to happen. If okay? she offered. You, you, you could go to prison. You realize that, 
right? You know that. Well, I'd get a lawyer. It's a very serious crime, Madison. Yeah, but if it was a mistake and there's an explanation and everybody vouches for Okay, well, you could still go to jail, A. B, think about the consequences even if you don't. You would be on record for, for causing an accounting screw-up that opened an SEC investigation with that kind of tag. You would probably never get a job. There's got to be some kind of way to make it work. Madison, thank you. It, it means a lot the lengths you would go to to help. Thank you very, very much. But I won't let you take the blame for this. Listen, why don't, why don't you two go and, and let us deal with this? That sounds good to me. Come on. Let's go. <laughs> you just got rid of our best hope of getting out of this mess. Greenlee, I think enough damage has been done. We don't need to hurt any more innocent people. But you're not going to get anything better than Madison taking the fall. You must have noticed how protective Ryan is of her. That's why you're so anxious to throw that poor girl to the wolves. You want to do anything to keep her away from him. I'm only thinking about what's best for Fusion. So that means we have to find something else quick. Well, Madison was right about one thing. We do certainly need someone to blame, and I know exactly who the creep is. You're married to him. The stone's on you showing up here. Of course, I guess it makes it easier for me to have you arrested for drugging Bianca since you're already in the police station. I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> of course not. The day will come. Until it does, how about a truce? How about you kiss? All right, look, I know you don't like me. I accept that. But Greenlee loves you. I love her. I want her to be happy. Which means having you in her life. Having your love, your approval. My approval? On what, David? On marrying you? On framing Erica for... Embezzlement on having something to do with her plane crashing. On which of those would you like my approval? Father's Day was very difficult for Greenland this year. Yeah, it was a little tough for me, too. Wondering if my daughter was complicit in the attempted murder of my fiance. There was no attempted murder, Jack. Why am I even talking to you? Get the hell away from me. You missed years of your daughter's life. You lost her once. She's back. How can you treat her like this? I'd love to be a part of my daughter's life, but as long as she's with you, under your influence, drifting further and further away from me every day, I don't see how that's possible. Greenlee will never truly be happy as long as she's at odds with you. Let me try to make this perfectly clear for you. I don't see my daughter and I having any kind of relationship until you're in prison or dead. 